Hi everyone and welcome back to another video, a big warm welcome if you are new. So we're going to start crafting, I'm going to begin with this beautiful trinket dish here and it is lovely and iridescent but I kind of need it matte so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to paint it with my white acrylic paint. So here's my seashell painted, I'm going to dry it using my hot air gun. Now I'm going to add a little bit of decoupage to the dish. So you're going to take your napkin, open it up, get rid of all of the inner layers. If you're doing decoupage, I suggest that you look for a napkin with a white background because that's always easier to work with and it just molds into your object, whatever you're using, a lot easier. So I'm going to go ahead and just take the bits I want from the design. Just using my fingers to gently rip around the area. Get rid of all of the excess and I don't suggest cutting. Just use your fingers like this. Just drew a rough design of where I'd like to place all of my little decoupage bits. So I'm going to go ahead and carry on getting as many little pieces off my napkin and the design as I can and just see how many I want and then we'll go ahead and stick them down. Once you have your design ready you can go ahead and take your Mod Podge and I always use glass or matte, this time I'm going to be using this glass one here and you can use PVA yeah, you can use PVA but it's quite thick so make sure that you water it down but I do suggest using Mod Podge, it is the best for decoupage. So when you do this process it's quite magical and really therapeutic. You'll just see that it really just melts into the background. So we'll start with the centerpiece here and you want to go really light with the glue. You don't want much at all because it's really thin and fragile as well. And you're going to cover the whole design on the back and then you can go over it as well on the front. Then you're going to flip your design over, just centre it back where you like, be really careful. My finger's stuck to it there. And then you're going to take, just like I've bunched this up, it's a ball of cling film and dab it down. This will help get rid of the wrinkles in your design as well. Go ahead and glue the rest of the pieces down. I think it's easier doing it this way, so just on the object itself rather than the napkin. That's much easier. And then I'll go over all of them with the Mod Podge again. You can also add varnish, you don't have to use Mod Podge to go over it. And if you're using glass I recommend going over the whole plate, otherwise you're just going to see like the areas where you've done the decoupage be all shiny and the rest will be matte so just go and go over it all with my paintbrush. Now I'm going to take this seahorse that I have already given him a makeover, it was a thrift find, he was used in a previous project and I'm going to stick him down with my hot glue just right here. Before I do that I do want to add a little bit of detail around the dish itself so to do that I'm going to be taking this metallic marker, it's gold and I'm going to go over just the edges with the pen. So this is how it looks at the moment. Now I'm going to be taking two starfish. I've got a big one and then a medium size and then we're going to take the seahorse and I'm actually going to paint them gold to match the rim of the plate. I'm using my sponge brush to apply the paint 
I always find that it's easier, it gets into the grooves, you can just work with it a lot more than a regular paintbrush. The seahorse has been painted, now I just need to paint the starfish. Now let's try these, speed up the process again with my heat gun. I'm just going to take my hot glue and stick these two starfish down. I just went over the whole dish of the design with a little bit of white acrylic paint, just um, dry brushed it really. And that's because I wanted the seahorse and the stars to stand out as well as the edge on the seashell. So if you want to do that, you just make sure that you've got a little bit of paint. I've got rid of the excess as you can see on the bottle itself. And you just go over it like this. Really, really lightly. So here's the final project and I am so happy with it. I think it looks so high end. I really do believe that it would be quite expensive if you found it in a shop. And I'm so glad I went in with that gold detail as well as adding the white distressed paint. So before we get into the second project, I wanted to let you all know that this video is part of a friendly collaboration and we're all doing summer decor. So there's going to be a playlist for you to check out with lots of other ideas. So once you're done watching my video, please head over and show the girls some love. For the second project, I'm going to be using the same trinket dish, but just another one, as well as this thrift find. And we're going to glue that right there like that, so make sure that you find the centre. To decorate this one, I'm going to be using some Arteza pouring acrylic colours. So I'm going to start with some dark blue. This is actually a shade of green. And then I'm taking another shade. Just pouring that on top. And then we're going to go with a blue. Lastly, you're going to take a shade of white and just place that inside as well. I'm just going to swirl it around a little bit. Look at that, it's gorgeous. And then the fun part, we're going to start pouring. Just swirling it around the entire shell. Get the beautiful marbling. And then once you're done swirling the paint around and covering your object, you can just get rid of the excess paint into a cup. I'm using the disposable one that you can see. Then once you leave it to dry, this is the amazing result that you will get. It reminds me of resin, so resin pores, and this is a lot easier than using resin. It's just got such a beautiful finish. I really, really love the marbling, and I just think this looks really high-end, and I'm so happy with how it came out. For the final project, again, I'm going to be taking a thrift find and I'm going to turn this into a little miniature wreath. I'm going to take this embroidery hoop and we're going to stick it like this with our hot glue or any glue that you want to use. I'm going to be using some bath sponge to decorate the bottom and to hide this part Again, I'm going to just take my glue to stick that down. Now we're going to take some reindeer moss to decorate as well, so I'm using two colours here. And I'm just really having a look at what else I can stick down. I've got this lovely collection of shells and I get a lot of these as gifts, so they're coming in handy now for these summer crafts. I think that looks perfect there, so I'm going to just stick that down. And then I've got this lovely tiny miniature bottle full of blue glitter. And I think that's going to look lovely there. Now 
I'm taking some neutral coloured moss and I'm going to place that just under here. I'm going to place the starfish on top just to give it a pop of colour and bring this back to the focus. I think this would look really nice here. Let's add a little bit more moss on the side. I don't want too much of that sponge showing. I'm going to take a small amount of driftwood just to place right here. I think we should stick a shell on, so let's grab one. I'm going to finish the piece off by taking this pearl garland and sticking a small amount in the corner. So this is the final project from today. I really do love all of them, so I'm having a really hard time choosing, but let me know what you think in the comments. I did add some glass mod podge to the dolphins. It just makes it look more realistic, like they're underwater. Don't forget to check out the playlist with the rest of the ideas. Take care for now, and I'll see you in the next video.